How's it going everyone? Today I have another character showcase video for you as we go over Morgana and how he functions in Persona 5 Strikers. But before that, if you haven't seen my previous character showcase videos or my video going over basically everything you need to know about Strikers, you can find links to those videos in the video description. And of course, if you have any questions about this video, Persona 5 Strikers, or any other game that I cover, you can always hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rosalindgaming or on my Discord server which you can find a link to in the video description as well. Now I mentioned this in my last video but I would just like to mention it again here, but these showcase videos aren't meant to be in-depth guides to the characters, rather they are simply meant to be showcases of the different characters and their core mechanics for you. So without the way, let's take a look at Morgana. Morgana is a speedy character that focuses on dealing wind damage, technical damage, and keeping the party healthy. And while he may be considered one of the weaker characters by the Japanese community, as well as maintaining some of the flaws that he had in Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal, Morgana does still have a few things going for him. At any time while controlling Morgana, you may hit the triangle button in order to turn into his car form. While in this form you can drive around, and if done during battle, you can run into enemies dealing a small amount of damage. This transformation can also be used directly after any of Morgana's combos, allowing him to quickly move around the battlefield. Though perhaps the most useful combo Morgana has at his disposal, especially in the early to mid game, is his square square triangle combo. This particular combo is nice and quick, allowing Morgana to complete it without being interrupted, and on top of that, the final hit in the combo does have a high critical strike chance, making it incredibly useful. If you ever need to attack at range, you can make use of Morgana's signature slingshot. When compared to other characters such as Joker or Ryuji, Morgana has significantly more ammo. But this is because each shot fired also consumes more ammo as he fires multiple pellets at once. Morgana also has no charge mechanic associated with his slingshot, but in exchange for this his shots do home in on enemies. When not comboing enemies or firing homing pellets at them, Morgana can assist the party with his persona Zoro. Much like with Persona 5, Zoro is a wind and healing focused persona with a resistance to wind damage and a weakness to electric damage. Though it isn't the healing and wind abilities that Morgana's persona provides him that I want to highlight. Rather, it's the only physical attack ability it learns Dorming Rush and one of his passive abilities Finesse. Dorming Rush has a medium chance to apply sleep in a wide range and Finesse increases technical damage. Once an enemy has been put to sleep with Dormin Rush, Morgana can then use the ability again or any of his wind attacks to deal some pretty significant technical damage. Oh, and a small teaser, but Dormin Rush is actually the key ability in my Yoshitsune Persona build that I'll be showcasing in a future video. That's right, Dormin Rush, not Hasotobi. Finally, we have Morgana's Master Arts. For those that haven't seen my other character showcase videos, Master Arts are essentially four perks that each character learns as you defeat enemies in battle with them. Eye of the Beast allows Morgana to do a follow-up combo after his square, 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 square triangle combo, and Beckoning Cat adds a pull functionality to any attack that Morgana does that sees him spinning around. Meanwhile, Miracle Punch further augments Morgana's square, square, triangle combo, the good one I told you about, allowing it to have a very small chance of dealing significantly increased critical strike damage. And finally, Sonic Charge allows Morgana to charge into enemies dealing wind damage while he's in his car form. And that'll do it for this quick showcase of Morgana and Persona 5 Strikers. I'll have plenty more Strikers content coming in the lead up to and after release of the game, so be sure to subscribe to get notified when they come out. And if you found this video helpful and informative, please be sure to leave a like as it really does help out. Until next time, take care.